Hey, so if you're looking for a simple way to mirror your Android device's screen to an iOS device, like I'm doing right now with the Galaxy S7 Edge and an iPad 4th generation, or vice versa, like I'm doing right now using my iPhone SE and mirroring its screen to my Samsung Galaxy Tab A, all you're gonna need to make this happen is two apps. They're both free, they're downloaded quickly, and the setup is super simple. So let's do it. Now the most important thing to do before we can set up the apps we need to mirror back and forth between Android and iOS is make sure in both cases that both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. This is a precondition that has to be set up right before we can start. Now to mirror from Android to iOS, the app we'll need is called Screen Mirror. So let's hit up the Play Store and search for Screen Mirror. And this is the one we want. Install and open. If you're on a very fast Wi-Fi connection and the tech you're using is super new, then you might as well go to preferences up here and select like maybe a high or a very high as an encoding or streaming quality. But since the tech in the iPad is pretty old and I'm not on the fastest Wi-Fi connection, I'm leaving this on low. So I experience the least amount of lag between the two devices. All you gotta do is hit start, don't show again, just start. Now what you're getting is an open web address. So all you're gonna do now is hit up Safari on the iOS device and enter this number into the browser navigation bar. So let's hit up Safari, go to the navigation bar and that's simply enter this number up here. Then hit go. And that's how simple it is to mirror this screen to this screen. Let's turn on the camera. Okay, now all that's left to do is scale this image to a size that makes sense. For use as an external monitor, although there is some lag and sometimes a lot of lag, it's workable if all you want to do is check the framing and get a general idea of what you're recording if you cannot watch the screen of your original device. Sometimes after a couple of moments or a minute or two, the connection will stabilize and there will be less lag. So sometimes you will need to have some patience and wait a minute or two for this to work as smoothly as possible. Now let's check out how easy it is to mirror from an iOS device to an Android device. So as before, same rule applies, both devices need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Again, the app we need will have to be installed on the Android device. So hit up the Play Store and search for AirScreen. And this is the one we want. AirScreen, AirPlay and Miracast. Install. So this will pretty much turn your Android device into a receiving device for Apple's AirPlay. Open. Now, this is a little tutorial we can skip. So this is what it looks like if the app starts. The Android device is now looking for a signal from an Apple AirPlay device. So swipe up on the bottom, go to AirPlay mirroring, and it has already recognized the Android device. Et voila, the screen is mirrored. This is how easy it is to mirror back and forth, this time between iOS and Android. This time, right from the beginning, there's less lag. This just goes to show that there's a definite connection between the speed of the Wi-Fi network and the Wi-Fi tech used in the devices in regards to how much lag you will experience or not. So, especially Arzu Fatima, but of course all the rest of you, if you liked the video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it'd be greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. Also, should you feel like supporting the channel, definitely check out the video description, there might be some product links that are interesting for you. In any case, as always, thank you so much for your time, thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon. Thank you.